My name is Johnny L. Spikes. I was born in Bangkok. The birth date is June the 1st, 1942. Oh, I don't know my mother named me. Who is I know? Before I be a little boy, I guess I was a little bitty baby, I guess. A little bitty boy growing up, but ain't no more little now. <laughs> well, I didn't see my mother. She died when I was you know, born. I was born in June. She died in uh, August. So she gave it to a lady, a friend of hers, that to raise me. With Alice Dunnings and Leon Dunnings, they raised me. So then I got grown and left. You know, I worked with well, one called Pig, cause Abraham. I worked with him most. I you know around him most of any of them. I used to work with him all the time. And we used to stump together and log together. And back in you know eighties and nineties, down there in Bangkok, up down there about between the old place and uh, you know, in Ashworth now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we had a house there on the left, on the right, coming in from down that way. Uh, we lived in that. It was a nice house. I stayed down there until about 1956. We moved to the river. Uh, see, I went to Bowman Port Arthur a couple of times. I had to ride the train. I went to Leon's sister's house. Uh, the Hedy. Was it Hedy? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Hedy. She was married to a guy named Carl Charles. I can't forget their last name. They was in Port Arthur. That's where it was at. Had to ride that train and get on that train down there. The Quincy was stark on. Then little KCS and a ride over there. Yeah, my first car was, was 1961, 62 Fullwood. I got it from up here in the Bailey's up here in the Ritter. Fifty dollars a week. <laughs> Well, I had to pay on it, so it, you know, it ain't like it is now. I like mass real good. And they ain't a little bit. The next time I didn't care too much about it, probably should have. My first job with my brother, we was pushing, she was pushing stumps and I was loading them, you know. He had a dozer pushing, I come behind him and the thing they call a packer back, you load it up and walk it out to the road, take it off with it, put it on the trailer, and go back and get another load bring back. They're hearing guns shooting out here and y'all hear anything, so we're having a good time over here at Chester Thompson. And they out there playing with the guns, so. <laughs> I was driving a truck. I started driving trucks in the 80s, I guess. 90s, somewhere along in there. I liked that better than I did what I was doing in the woods, you know. Get out on the highway. The whole log and put wood for a long time. Do that thing about 40-something uh, years. Mm -hmm. Guess what I was. Around about 15, I guess. So along in there, I remember a little bit. Remember, I was going through some people's different people's houses, you know. Down there, some of them that we live off, we off down back in the woods. The Freddie them, Freddie Spikes and his bunch. And used to go down there and see them. And they had a few stoves, like a couple of stoves out there, two on one on each side of the road. And uh, that's about it. That's all we down. They had a sawmill. The house we lived in, it had even cold, but we had uh, heaters in it. And, Gas stove, you know, mm -hmm. had a here with old wooden heat with pipes going out the window, kept it warm, you know. But it was good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had to get the wood cut, wood and bring in for it and put it in there any time and get it ready for that that night, you know. And warm it, it, it would keep it warm. Well, man, we do that no more. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> It'd be hot. Let's get the windows up and fight the mosquitoes. Well, you put a screen, you know, they got some screen you put on the window, you know. And keep the mosquitoes and stuff. I just laid that wind up and it cool off. Ice in them, you know. I had to block the block ice. Put that in there and keep the stuff cool, you know, water, put ice in it, yeah. Then eventually the got refrigerators when they come out. So that's about the way it was. Mm -hmm. I like to play ball. My husband playing ball. I like to play basketball, you know, a little football, but I wasn't not too good at it. But I like to play. I'm down there at Bangkok, everybody was moving out, so we moved up in. And I moved up there on a Pricket Street in the river. And uh, finished school, going to school there. And I decided I wanted to quit, so. <laughs> and everybody, but I don't retire now, so. I just ride, ar ride around and go places. And look at the country. But I need to stay in school for one thing, get the education for one. Well, they could make something of themselves, you know. It ain't like it was back then. Everything is electronic, you know, and all like that, which is good. 
and they know how to work some computers and stuff on your lesson. You know, I learned a lot <clears throat> since I got out of school that I wouldn't, that I hadn't learned in school. You know, <clears throat> you know, learn how to you know work, treat people. That's the main thing. Learn how to treat people. You know, that you treat them bad, they're gonna treat you bad. Just you know how to treat them now, nice, and you'll get somewhere. I did some snuff one time. Got caught. They didn't have to whoop me. I was already dead. And they whooped me anyhow. Whew, I ain't dipped no more there. And I had to back out of the house to go too. Well, just about everybody down there. But moved to the river. They had, you know, plumbing, you know. And that was a lot better. That was a change right there. You know, yeah. But if you had water running water in it, you know, when we moved from, when we moved from back off to the river. Yeah, that old pump <laughs> had to pump that water, you know. Or either draw it out of the way of them. Yeah, in Bancroft. Wow. But it was good cold water like I. I mean, there's no well still down in the old place. I mean, wow. It was a square, you no know, big square, like a box. But like 15, 20 foot, 30 foot deep. Yeah, you know, we had to have a frame run on the outside, you know. And make a place to hang your pulley, mm -hmm. your bucket and rope. And, let it down in there, then you put it back up on the pulley, put it right back up and got a bucket of cold water. Then they got them block ice, you know, you put your water in the ice, have some ice water then. You don't fold to. <laughs> no, I didn't drink out of no bucket. <laughs> oh, but we had a pump, well, I was going to tell you that, though. we had a pump. You had to prime it, so, you know, put some water in it and pump it real fast to prime it. You pull that water right on up, then it stay fine all day, you know, while you're using it. Right. You pump it, and that water come out right in your cup or a bucket where you're straight up on it, you know, it ain't like that well. You have to pump it. And you have to pump enough water like that to wash with, you know, or cook, or whatever. Two or three tubs of, of water to wash, you know, you got to pump all that. That's a lot of work. My auntie had that penny done in it. They had a pump. That's where Lee was dying there, and stayed down there with her. They went too far from me, hell in there. And they pumped that water. Mmm. They used to like rock and roll, but I don't do it no more, so. <laughs> I just like any of it, you know. I listen to all the country, western, whatever. Some of it good, some bad. Mm -hmm. Tired. And ride them down the road. How do you do that? You get inside the time, somebody push it. Yeah. Crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that no more. I think about that. I said, we were crazy. I don't know what that thing. <laughs> well, no breaks. I don't know what that no breaks. Go over here a tree, stop it. And old big truck tired, get inside of it, and there we go. Yeah, I forgot about all that. Well, we used to do that. Me and Eddie Lee. I know we got about all of it that I done anyway. I'm down that way. I moved up here and went to school a little while. I thought I was grown. And got out, you know, and it come from home. Done pretty good doing it too. Right. Yeah. But you don't recommend it? Mm -mm. No, I mean, you take that to the last grade. But I do good. I done good. I got my own place and mm -hmm. everything mine so far. So I retired. So let's kick back.